Hey guys, welcome back to the other Irish here. We're back in Oblivion. The last time we got our next quest. Uh, let's check it here. We are doing a bunch of the uh, Brotherhood. Dark Brotherhood, I should say. Uh, I must go to the city of Breville and lie in wait near the ancient statue known as the old uh, Lucky Old Lady. A wood elf named Og Olim visits the statue every night between 6 p.m. and 1 a.m. To make a wish as to as is the local custom. When I see Ogolim, I must kill him. I should be warned, however, that Ogolim has uh, been alerted to the danger, and if he senses assassin, will probably attack on sight. He will also bri also bribe the guards to look the other way. So uh, yeah, we have to be stealthy. Let's get started on this. Get the help out of this place. And we should be able to fast travel to Breville. Wolf favor me. Hey. Here he goes, arrows back. Expensive. Okay. We can wait, so that means we can fast travel. So that's a. Uh, Breville is here. And let's go find our target. He's already attacking us. Ouch. What the hell? Oh, he made me explode earlier. Yes. How did I miss? Ouch. The guards are attacking them. No, no! I'm too late. I thought I could get here in time. Thought I could stop you. Why, Sidious? What have you done? What madness has claimed you? You have betrayed the Dark Brotherhood. Why? I am here to end your miserable life. To... But... Uh, I can see the confusion in your eyes. You... You have no idea what I'm talking about. Do you? No, what are you talking about? Your first bedrock contract. You carried that out, killed Saladin. After that, you eliminated the Raconis family as ordered then. Betrayal. Your dead drops went unvisited. Your targets ignored. Instead, you have been systematically killing off all of the members of the Black Hand. Jagasta. Shali, Zubal Uvani, Havelstein Horblood, Speakers and Silencers all, and Ungano, the listener himself. The surviving members of the Black Hand know you're innocent. They know you are only following orders. They believe I am the traitor. Don't you see? The traitor somehow switched your orders and has been sending you to the wrong dead drops. You and I have been deceived. We must find out who is behind this betrayal. We haven't much time. I am hunted day and night by the Black Hand. They want me dead. Here is what you must do. Go 
Oh, now to your next dead drop. Lie in wait and confront whomever drops off the false contract. Uncover the true traitor's identity, and then come see me. I'll be in hiding. Fort Farragut is no longer secure. It's under watch by the Black Hand. I'll wait for you at Apple Watch, the farm where you killed the old Draconis woman. And may Sithus help us all. Okay, here's the twist, guys. Now go. Learn the identity of the new thing. So we can... Excuse me. So where is our next dead drop? It was in uh, Anvil, right? Let's quickly go over. I, I love the Dark Brotherhood. Let's uh, read what we have to do here. Hang on. I've been confronted by Lucian Lachans, who told me I have inadvertently kill been killing off the members of the Black Hand. I must now travel to City Anvil. Once there, I should wait near the barrel behind the statue in the pond and see who comes to set up the fig. They drop. I must then confront the person and find out why they are tempering with the contracts. Okay, so let's wait near the barrel, I guess. Let's be an hour to see what happens. You lay on your back with a blissful feeling. Oh, that's me just running in the vampire. No, no, please. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. It was the robed man. He... he paid me to put those things in the barrel. I don't know his name, and his face was in shadow. He called to me yesterday as I walked by the lighthouse. I think he lives there. Or he did, anyway. He told me he was leaving Anvil. I'm sorry, but that's all I know. No, please! The lighthouse, just outside the city walls. I think the robed man lives there, in... in the cellar. I don't know what goes on down there, but there's a horrible smell coming from underneath that door. It's like something died inside. Listen, that's all I know, really. Maybe Ulfgar Fogai can tell you more. He's the lighthouse keeper and probably rented out the cellar. Talk... Talk to Ulfgar. He's sure to have the key to the cellar. You know, if... if you want to get down there. Now, please, just let me go. Goodbye. Just... Who, who was the next target, anyway? Let's uh, read. Um, to drop eight. Oh, God, is dead solitary. You have served for, uh, me far better than I could have ever imagined. Is there no challenge you can't meet, no opponent you can't best? We'll see. Your next target is High Elf, who, or name Arwen. She was, she has been difficult to locate, but you might try asking around the Grey Mirror in Coral, or on the Bridge Inn in Chain Hall. Like all your targets, Arwen is skilled fighter. Will not be eliminated so easily. Argon is dead. 
when are going to say that I'll reward you in the next uh, writing dead drop under under one of the beds in the Leowin Coast Guard Station. Interesting. Well, we're really turning into vampire here. <laughs> we're going to have to feed soon. What type of bow was that I got, actually? The Dwarven bow. 11 damage. Oh god, it's a powerful bow. I like it. Keeping it. No, it's uh... Oh, it's a lighthouse. But I, lo I love the twist in that where you <laughs> we've been technically been killing all the, the Dark Brotherhood assass uh, assassins. Attack with this guy. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. I love that this building is really unique compared to uh, like. The anvil buildings, they kind of look coastal, you know what I mean? May the wind be on your back. Well now, what might you want? Oh, do you now? Yes, please. And just why should I give you? The Dark Brotherhood demands a dog. The Dark Brotherhood? Oh, okay, okay. Here, here's the key. Just don't hurt me. I, I won't say a word, I swear. If you're here to kill that fellow in the cellar, then, then good. I won't call the guards or nothing. He's doing uh, unnatural things down there. I've heard the screams and the smell. I never should have rented out that cellar. Never. Oh, goodbye. I've obtained the key to the Anvil Lighthouse cellar where the trader has been living. I must unlock the cellar door and proceed down so I may continue my investigation. We're screaming because we're getting burned. Okay. Wait, this isn't a cellar door, is it? There it is. I've gained entry to Anvil Lighthouse Cellar. I must search the cellar for some clue to the Dark World of Traitor's identity and motives. Is a dead dog. Someone got to attack us here, huh? Body parts, coffin, a couple of dead animals, the jeep. Won't turn down any gold though. I wonder why he didn't pay us though. Unknown victim. 
That's his diary, right? The mother's head. Alright. Okay, let's read the diary. It's all right, mother. It's almost over. I am so close. So very close. How long have we struggled? How long have we waited? Too long, I know. But it's almost over. I promise. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> I've discovered the traitor's diary. He has been... He has been in the Dark Brotherhood for years and is now a member of the Dark of the Black Hand. Okay, his goal is to get revenge against losing the chance. And all of the Brotherhood for the murder of his mother. When he was a child of his mother for when he was a child. And he actually plans on killing the Night Mother. I must return to listen to Chance at once at the farm called Apple Watch and give him the, informa uh, the information. Whoa. Right. Can we take his head? Doink. The controls, I always forget that you can't just press M for map. I don't know if I'm going to be able to fast travel because I'm being hurt though. Yeah. So what we can do is, we can wait till night time. Oh, it's quite early. Let's wait about 13 hours. Should be dark by then. And then we can just fast travel straight over. This is the joys of being a vampire. I'm gonna go at night time. We need to feed soon too though. Okay, now let's do this. Okay, okay, I've been burned again. Let's go in. Silencer, at last you've arrived. Fear not, for the crisis that has threatened the Dark Brotherhood has finally come to an end. I am Arquin, speaker for the Black Hand. As you can see, we have dealt with the betrayer, Lucian Lachance. No longer will you serve as his puppet. It seems Lachance wanted revenge against the Dark Brotherhood for some reason and use you to do his dirty work. But now we can begin anew. I bestow upon you the title of Speaker. You will take Lucien Lachance's place on the Black Hand. Welcome. As you know, the Black Hand is now in a state of disarray. Lachance ordered you to kill us off. We five, including you, are now all that remain. Even worse, you killed the listener. The black hand without a listener is like a hand with no thumb. Even the listener's successor is dead. So, we have no choice but to invoke an ancient ritual. We must wake the Night Mother from her slumber and seek her guidance. Between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m., ask me about the Night Mother, and we will away to Our Lady's home. Only then will the ritual begin. When we confronted Lachance, he tried to defend himself, tried to declare his innocence. But we would not hear his treacherous lies. As you can see, he was no match for the combined power of the Black Hand, even weakened as we are. You must understand our need for darkness and secrecy. Speak to me only between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m. and we will be off. Lucian, no! Greetings, fellow speaker. May we forever serve the Night Mother. Poor guy.
Greetings, Speaker. Most of my time is now spent on administrative duties. I have not had blood on my hands in far too long. Killing the chance was pure ecstasy. What? Sithis is master. All our troubles are almost at an end, brother. Soon we will visit the Night Mother, and she will surely guide us. The four of us attacking him in unison was as graceful and beautiful as a ballet. The flashing of steel, the spraying of blood. Sithis be with you. Hello, fellow speaker. Welcome to the Black Hand. So nice to see you're in one piece. You should take some time to admire his corpse. It really is a thing of beauty. The punctures and slashes are almost poetic. May you always walk in the shadow of death. Okay, we got some arrows to wait. To wait to 3 uh, 12 a.m. Then we're gonna continue with this quest. There we go. Greetings, fellows. Dear speaker, when darkness shrouds the Empire, we can travel to the resting place of the Night Mother and begin the ritual of awakening. The Night Mother must be awakened so that we may seek her guidance. Are you ready to travel now to her resting place? Yes, let's go. Very good, and so it begins, the Black Hand's journey into a darkness few can imagine. Let us be off. She was our the next target. That the, the guy wanted us to kill. Okay, here we go, guys. Behold the Night Mother. The locals call this statue the Lucky Old Lady. They have no idea how lucky they really are. For this stone effigy masks the entrance into the Dark Brotherhood's most revered unholy site. The Crypt of the Night Mother herself. In a moment we will begin. I will recite an incantation, and we can proceed down into the crypt and seek an audience with the Night Mother. I know this is all very overwhelming, dear child. Just follow along and you'll be fine. Now, let's go see what the future holds, shall we? Unholy matron, we of the Black Hand beseech you. Reveal yourself now, most magnificent Night Mother, so that we may seek your guidance. The incantation has revealed the hidden door to the Night Mother's crypt. I must follow the members of the Black Hand down into the crypt. And once we're down there, the traitor will surely try to destroy the Night Mother. I must stop the traitor at all costs. And now I can move. For the longest time, I didn't um, know about this, so I didn't know like any of this was even happening. So I just want to kind of make some adjustments here. I feel like the sound is quite low. Let's see audio. Yeah, no. uh, voice volume. I want to turn it back up. And let's bring the music up a bit. It's quite low, right? Is that sound too loud? Well, let's go inside. What is the meaning of this desecration? Who has disturbed my ancient slumber? Dearest Night Mother, most unholy maiden, 
Please, we beg your mercy in this our time of need. The Black Hand seeks your guidance. Ah, yes, I have been expecting you. The listener now kneels by Sithis, as does his successor. There is a traitor amongst you. The traitor is dead, dear mother. We have come now to ask your blessing. Anoint one of us, your listener, so we can restore the Black Hand. Foolish little girl. Lucien Lachance served Sithis till his dying breath. The Black Hand remains tainted by betrayal. Restoration is impossible. Enough. Enough of this. You will all suffer for the pain you have caused me. I will destroy your night mother, and the Dark Brotherhood will fall. What treachery? The traitor still lives. It is Matthew Belmont. Do not let him harm the night mother. Kill him. Can die, buddy. The traitor, Matthew Bellamont, is dead. The crisis has played that has played the Dark Brotherhood is now over. Nightmother still needs to name a new listener. I should I should wait and hear what she has to say. So, at last we meet. I have been following your strange journey through the Dark Brotherhood. Your killing of the old man Bainham, the execution of Adamus Philander, the way you stalked and murdered each member of the Draconis family, your purification of the Jaden Hall Sanctuary, you, a mere underling, even managed to single handedly eliminate half of my black hand. I live only to serve the Black Hand. I know, dear child, I know. You carried out your orders to the letter in the name of the Black Hand. How could I be anything but happy with you? No, my anger lies with the rest of my children. You see, I have known of Matthew Belmont's intentions since he was just a boy. I knew of his thirst for vengeance. I could have informed my listener. But I refused. Refused to reward such incompetence. Ungolin was weak. Indeed, I allowed Matthew Bellamont to proceed on his destructive course, just as I allowed you to intercept him. Yes, dear child. The Dread Father foresaw it all. You were meant to kill the traitor. You were meant to be named to this of the Black Hand. You possess strength and cunning, and a heart as black as midnight. You were marked by Sithis the moment you emerged from your mother's womb. What happens now, unholy matron? Go, take a few moments to collect yourself. Meditate upon all that has transpired. Help yourself to any treasures this crypt may offer. When you are ready, speak with me again, and I will deliver you safely to the only place you can truly call home, the Jaden Hall Sanctuary. There is much work to be done. You are back in the sanctuary. Speak with Arquen. She will serve as your humble servant and guide. Oh, nice. So this is the Night Mother's body. Look at the babies. 
our dead children. This is crazy. The dragon's bow. Some really unique stuff down here. It's pretty nice. wishes for you to take some time to consider your new position. We will speak when we are back in the sanctuary. I shall see what she had to say. Okay. I think I'm ready. Let's speak. You've returned. I trust you've weighed the importance of your new position. For you will soon hear words that will change lives. Alter destinies. And I hope you've taken everything you desire from my crypt. Once you leave, you will be unable to return. Now, are you ready to begin your new life? I am ready. Send me to the sanctuary. Very good. Now begins your true journey. We will soon become very intimate, you and <laughs> Before I send you away, however, I would like to present you with a rather special reward. I see you still possess the Blade of War, the weapon given you by Lucy by chance when we first met. Allow me now to unlock its true power. Yes, you will now find the Blade of War a bit more potent than it was. Now go. Leave this crypt and serve our dread father till your dying breath. Erkman and I have been teleported to St. Chain Hall Sanctuary. I speak with Erkman, who will serve as my servant and guide in the days to come. Honored listener, I offer myself as your humble servant and guide. Please allow me to mentor you in your new role. Here's what I believe we should do next. I will stay here and attempt to reestablish this sanctuary. I will begin recruiting new members. You must fulfill your new duties. The statue in Breville serves as a conduit between the Night Mother and the listener. Once a week, you must visit the statue. Talk to it. You will be presented with a list of names and locations. These are people who have prayed to the Night Mother. They request a visit from a speaker to arrange someone's assassination. All you need to do is visit the statue once a week, get the list of names and locations, and pass it on to me here in the sanctuary. Do this, and I will give you your share of the Sanctuary's weekly earnings. There's so much work to be done. So much work. Nice. Greetings, most honored. Under your leadership, the Black Hand will... Let's check the robes now. This is their new uh, base of operations, really. Why oh, is it so locked? Was I too lazy to open this before? Yeah, I'm pretty good at that now. Ooh, you and blood. I 
I don't think that reduces my uh, Gravens though, right? No, I think I still need to feed. What time is it? 2 a.m.? Yeah, it's the perfect time to go outside. We need to uh, feed someone. No, I want a quick save. Okay. And uh, we're going to break into someone's house and feed them while they sleep. Or sometimes you find, instead of breaking in somewhere, you it's a hit and miss sometimes. Um, the civilians aren't, and their house is always asleep. So if you actually find if one of these homeless guys sleeping on, you can get them. Nice. Are we over encumbered now because we're yeah we're not as strong as we used to be fair enough we can get rid of some junk we don't need Someone's got to, he's gonna wake up to some of the gray stuff. What's that even do? Oh. oh, I need one of them. I didn't mean to throw two of them away. Okay. Just need to drop three of something. So let's check our food. Normally all this stuff weighs me down. There we go. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's take this dumb hat off and put back on my uh, hood. Fancy looking arrows. So I got dragon's bow now too. Nicely done. Let's check our quest real quick. Once we come to speak with the statue of the Night Mother in Reveal, the Night Mother will give me a list of names, locations of people to, uh, who require a visit from the Dark of the Hood speaker to arrange an assassination. If I take this information to Arkman in Chaden Hall Sanctuary, she will give me a weekly earnings. I can do this uh, every week for as long as I want. And there is no penalty if I choose not to. Well, we're going to try to keep it up. Wait a minute as well. Let's go to Breville right now and see if we can actually get some names. Uh, I don't think it has to be night time ring. Let's see. So she's going back to normal again. There's her babies again. Greetings, listener. Come close and I will share with you the information I have garnered. For someone has prayed to the Night Mother yet again. The Dark Brotherhood must seek out a Khajiit named Sharari. She has need of our services and we are only too happy to oblige. 
Your speaker should look for this person in the city of Balanesti, in the wood elven homeland of Valenwood. Leave me now, dear listener. Deliver this information to your speaker, so that the will of Sithis may be fulfilled. All hail our dreadfather. All hail our dreadfather. Okay, let's go back. Can't believe we finally did it. It's been years since I finished the Dark World Hut. I'm so happy that we did it. Now we are the listener. We basically run the Dark World Hut. And uh, from that we can use these skills to uh, aid us in our uh, Dark World Hut. Uh, hey. Listener, I am the new initiate to the Dark Brotherhood. Just a lowly murderer, but if there's any way I can serve you, any way at all, I'm yours. So I get these travel at me, as you were, as you were a murderer. Well, we're gonna leave them here for now. But the, the good thing with these followers, and this is a good hint, because they actually really good at uh, sneaking with you. They're really good, high stealth. May Sithis keep you safe, most revered listener. If you ever need my help, you need only ask. You sound like Lucian. Goodbye. May the Night Mother always watch over you, great listener. You sound like him. So, the Night Mother has spoken. I will make sure this information reaches the appropriate family members. Ah, yes. Here are your weekly earnings. I will see you next week, most honorable listener. Here you go. 200 gold for doing Lucian and then. Okay. So we have to remember to come back here in a week's time. Under your leadership, the Black Hand. The weekend will game, obviously. Eternal. We are the listener. Actually, look. Let's look at the uh, skill or the. So we're right now we're the Dark listener. We're the Grey Fox. We're the Grand Champion, and we're uh, a Night Brother in the Blades. We hold some high ranks. So let's have a look at our, our to do list here. But this is something I want to do too. Is uh, I arrived at the Swan Hollow. I should make my way inside the hidden this hidden layer. I want to do this. Um, I want to be able to do it up to. This is gonna be like one of our hidden layers, especially as a vampire. It will suit us. Um. Yeah, we've done that. I defeated the Great Prince in the arena. Okay. We need to get back onto the main quest. So, Joffrey wants us to meet with uh, contact in Bor uh, Boros in Luther's board boarding house in Imperial City. The enemy. As the amulet of kings and Boris may have leads. So we're gonna get straight back into the main quest, like I said we would. We're gonna do this mission. I was thinking about ending the episode, but you know what? We still got time. And we got work to do guys. Let's get back into our armor here. And let's equip our War and arrows. What time is it in the game? 1 p.m. You know what? Let's go outside and sell a bunch of stuff. Or Skelly out of it. Want to get a uh, rid of a bunch of stuff we don't need. Really, like, the only stuff I'm gonna really burn is this Dark Brotherhood stuff. And maybe some other armor if I find anything better. But let's go to the armor in here. Let's sell a bunch of stuff that we don't need here. And then go to the other stores to get rid of the other stuff. The March Riders. Whatever. Um, uh, we'll keep repair. Broken, I can fix it. 
fire repair all so if I sell the stuff we don't need we don't spend money we don't need keep the blade of wool sell this you drive a hard bargain that's a good deal uh, we'll keep these two they're very good they're very strong so we can get rid of all the other stuff shadow hunt We get rid of it. Flames. Get rid of it. An excellent bargain. Keep the arrows. Silver torrent. Get rid of it. You drive a hard bargain. We get rid of this hat. That's a dumb look anyway. Is it bluntless? That's more than I'd usually pay. Um, oh, I give it his pelts. A fine transaction. Thank you. No, oh, can you repair all my stuff now? I can repair almost anything. Wait for gold. Nice. Farewell. Very well. Okay, so let's go to the other store. I think there's like a general store. Yeah, there. We can still just put everything in here. You get you get a better price for weapons in the other one. Horba Let's do you business. Have, have to introduce yourself every single time I come in. Let's get rid of one of these. I like to keep my ingredients. Okay. Thank you. No, thank you. Stop talking. Enough. Oh, she likes us very much. Fair enough. Oh right, yeah, let's go see Boris. He's been waiting for us long enough. Let's get down and get this done. You know, I always miss this place. Listen, I'm going to get up in a minute and walk out of here. That guy in the corner behind me will follow me. You follow me. I'm ready when you are. Good. Remember, wait for him to follow me. I want to see what he'll do. The enemy agent who attacked Boris is dead. We should find what Boris is sparing about our enemies. Search his body. I'll keep an eye out in case any of his friends are nearby. Look at my arrows back. Mictic Dawn Commentaries number one. Found a strange book about the Mictic Dawn cult. I should show Boris. Hey Boris. Good work. I am glad to see you, by the way. You just caught me in a bad time. What have you learned? The assassins who killed the Emperor were part of a Deirdre cult known as the Mythic Dawn. Apparently worshipped the Deirdre Lord Mayrun's Dagon. I've been tracking their agents in the Imperial City. I guess they noticed. I found Uriel there. Thank Talos he lived! Martin Septim, you say? We will restore him to the throne. It is the sworn duty of all blades. But the enemy has the amulet. 
What? They took it from Joffrey? Things are worse than I had thought. What's our next move? There's a scholar at the Arcane University. Tarmina's her name. Supposed to be an expert on Diedrich cults. Why don't you take that book to her? See what she makes of it. I'll keep running down leads on the Mythic Dawn Network. If you learn anything, you can find me at Luther Broads. May Talos guide you. Hey, Sparrows. Like I said, she's one of the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope you learned something from Tarmina about that book. Sparrows is a what good do dude. Do, He's a good guy. Let's go to, uh... The university over here. Hopefully I don't... Yes, he didn't. I thought I was going to... Turn more the vampire. Good to see there she is. Hello. Yes. Ah, you must be the one I got the message about. How can I help you? You know of them? One yes. of the most secretive of all the Daedric cults. Not much is known about them. They follow the teachings of Maincar Cameron, whom they call the Master, a shadowy figure in his own right. I found one of the books. Ah, yes. Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. Wonderful. You have a scholarly interest in Daedric cults, then. I need to find them, Edith Dawn. Find them, huh? I won't poke my nose any further. Official business and all that. I'm used to working with the blades. Don't worry. Say no more. In any case, finding them won't be easy. I've studied Mankar Cameron's writings a bit myself. At least those that I could find. It is clear from the text that Mankar Cameron's commentaries come in four volumes, but I've only ever seen the first two books. I believe that his writings contain hidden clues to the location of the Mythic Dawn's secret shrine to Merun's Dagon. Those who unlock this hidden path have proven themselves worthy to join the ranks of the Mythic Dawn cult. Finding the shrine is the first test. If you want to find them, you'll need all four volumes of the commentaries. We're going to find these books. Here. You can have the library's copy of Volume 2. Treat it gently, if you please. As I've said, I've never even seen the third and fourth volumes. You should try first edition over in the Market District. Fintius, the proprietor, caters to specialist collectors. He may have an idea of where to locate those books. Ooh, let's ask a few questions with Mark on Carmen. The supposed leader of the Mythic Dawn Cult. He wrote the infamous Commentaries on the Mysterium Xarxes. The commentaries are contemporary with Tiber's Septum over 400 years ago, so he is unlikely to still be alive, although you never know. The Mysterium Xarxes? The Holy Book of the Mythic Dawn. Supposedly written by Merun's Dagon himself. If it exists, it would be an artifact of great and evil power. For no game, the Maker face looks so worried and scared at times. It's really good. Um, it's done. They worship the Daedra Lord Merun's Dagon, according to the teachings of their leader, Mainkar Cameron. No one knows how widespread the cult is or where their shrine to Merun's Dagon is located. That's it. It was so nice chatting with you. The thing about uh, Merun's Dagon, he's kind of an essential Daedra god when you think about it. He, like, initiates change. You know, sometimes you gotta destroy something to, m to rebuild, you know? And bring a new. I'm not saying he's a good guy, but he... He does bring change into the world. Okay. Oh, I'm Fintius, owner hey, and proprietor of the first edition. Look around. If I don't have it, maybe I can get it. 
uh, the Mysterium Xerxes. You must be referring to Mankar Cameron's commentaries on the Mysterium Xerxes, a common mistake. It comes in four volumes. The first two volumes are rare, but you may run across them from time to time. The third and fourth are impossible to find. I need a third and fourth, though. I happen to have a copy of volume three on hand, but I'm afraid it is a special order. Already paid for by another customer. Sorry. Gwyneth would be terribly disappointed if it was gone when he came to pick it up. So sorry I can't help you. You're looking for a bribe. Tell me about the uh, volume tree. I'm afraid I couldn't sell it to you for any price. I've already promised it to someone else, and my word is my bond. And what about uh, number four? I wish I had one, but I have never even seen a copy. His Gwyneth. I don't know him personally, but he was very eager to get his hands on volume three of Cameron's commentaries. Came all the way from Valenwood. As a matter of fact, he's already late for his appointment to pick up the book. Feel free to wait for him if you want to speak to him yourself. Yeah, we'll wait for him. Good day. He does so rude. Yeah, let's wait an hour. Hopefully the, the guy shows up. I'm here for my book, Mancar Cameron's Commentaries, Volume 3. Ah, of course, here you go. Keep us in mind for any future needs. Thank you. Thank you. I can't tell you how long I've been looking for this book. No. Where are you? Go ahead, please. The commentary is uh, volume three, please. Have you been following me? Leave me alone. That book is mine. Tell me more about the mythic dawn called. The mythic dawn? Are you? I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know anything about any cult. You're in over your head. I beg your pardon. You presume to tell me about Diedrich cults? I'll have you know that I visited the shrine of Sheagorath during the festival of the mad. I've spoken with Hermaeus Mora beneath the full moons. I've... They killed the emperor, you fool. What? The mythic dawn were the ones? You have to believe me. I truly had no idea. I mean, I knew they were a Diedrich cult. Mankar Cameron's views on Mayrun's Dagon are fascinating, revolutionary even. But to murder the Emperor, Mara preserve us. You better give me that book. Yes, of course. I don't want anyone to think I had anything to do with their insane plots. Here, volume three is yours. What you do with it is your business. I need the fourth book as well. You can only get volume four directly from a member of the Mythic Dawn. I had set up a meeting with the sponsor, as he called himself. Here, take this note they gave me. It tells you where to go. I don't want anything else to do with the Mythic Dawn. Goodbye. Right. So now we gotta meet up with the Mythic Dawn. But we're just reaching the R mark, guys. So we're gonna end this episode here. I hope you've enjoyed this one. So in this episode, we actually finished the Dark Brotherhood finally. And now we have started doing the main quest again, which we're going to play right through now. From, the, from now on, every episode is going to be a main quest. So if you like this episode and you like this series, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more episodes like this, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.